HBBTV Application Discovery over Broadband provides a new alternative way of launching HBBTV applications on an HBBTV receiver. Technically, HBBTV applications are web applications and they are hosted on standard web servers in the Internet. In the context of conventional broadcast systems, HBBTV applications are regularly launched like this. The so-called application information table, in short the AIT, is inserted into the broadcast stream. This AIT contains metadata about the HBBTV applications and the most important of these metadata is the URL of the HBBTV application. When receiving such an AIT, the HBBTV receiver can use the URL to make an HTTP request on a web server hosting the HBBTV application and thus load and launch the HBBTV application. This way of launching HBBTV applications does not work if the transmission of the AIT does not work. This can be the case if a cable operator blocks the AIT or in OTT live streaming where an AIT transmission is technically not foreseen at all. How can HBBTV applications be started even in such cases? The basic idea is that all relevant AIT information is hosted as a file on a web server. The HBBTV receiver can then retrieve that AIT file and based on this AIT launch the HBBTV application. How this works in detail and how the AIT server can be found by the receiver is specified in the ETSI standard TS103464 Hybrid Broadcast Broadband TV Application Discovery over Broadband, which has been created by the HBBTV Association. This standard defines an HBBTV DNS root server, which has a fixed domain and can thus be found by all HBBTV receivers. When there is a channel change made on the HBBTV receiver and no AIT is found in the broadcast, the receiver can make a request to the HBBTV DNS root server and send a country code and the service name as parameters with this request. It is assumed that for each country the service name is unique. If a service provides HBBTV applications, it can register with this DNS root server and the server then delivers back to the HBBTV receiver a DNS record containing the domain of a second DNS server. This second DNS server is broadcaster specific and a second request from the HBBTV receiver to this server gives back the domain where the AIT file can be found. With this information, the HBBTV receiver can make a third request, this time to the web server which hosts the AIT file. When this file is delivered to the HBBTV receiver, the receiver has exactly the same AIT information as it is delivered via broadcast in the regular cases. And based on the information in this AIT, the HBBTV receiver can finally make requests to the HBBTV application server to load and launch the regular HBBTV application, which will then display the red button message on the TV screen. The HBBTV Association has a framework agreement with the Radio DNS organization to host the central HBBTV DNS root server. The other servers the Broadcaster DNS root server, the AIT server and of course also the HBBTV application server can be hosted by each broadcaster individually. So, in the end, the HBBTV application discovery over broadband specification defines a way how HBBTV applications can be launched even in environments where the live broadcast or OTT signals are not able to carry the regular AIT information.